हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योत्सना पारगावकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सांगू काना ठाकूर ए सी एस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल स्टुडंट्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी ॲसिड बेस थेरीज ॲज वी ऑल आर द फॅमिलीर विथ दॅट द ॲसिड बेस थेरीज आर नथिंग बट द थेरीज ऑफ अरेनियस थेरी ब्रॉन्स्टेड लोरीज थेरी अँड लेवीज थेरी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द अरेनियस थेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू द अरेनियस ॲसिड इज अँड सबस्टन्स दॅट रिलीज हायड्रोजन आयन इन ॲक्वस सोल्युशन तो ॲक्वस सोल्युशन मीन्स वॉटर तो सिम्पली हिअर हायड्रोजन आयन्स विल रिलीज इन वॉटर फॉर एक्झाम्पल एच सी एल सो सी ऑन द स्क्रीन वेन वी डिझॉल्व दॅट एच सी एल वी विल गेट एच प्लस आयन्स अँड सी एल मायनस आयन वेन दॅट एच सी एल विल डिझॉल्व वी विल गेट द चार्जेस हायड्रोजन विल कॅरी द पॉझिटिव चार्ज ॲज द वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज लूज दॅट्स वाय द चार्ज विल बी द पॉझिटिव अँड द क्लोरीन ॲज द इट विल टेक द वन इलेक्ट्रॉन दॅट्स वाय इट विल गेट द चार्ज सी एल मायनस the hcl is in front of us so when it will dissolve in aqueous solution that is water it will gives h plus and cl minus means on dissociation we will get the hydrogen ion and chlorine ion and as the it gives the h plus ions that's why hcl is here according to the arrhenius acid it acts as a acid so we will see the example of arrhenius base base is a substance which gives oh minus ion to see here this is the oh minus ion so that's why noh is acts as a base as it gives the oh minus ion in water so in short we can say that these are the definition as it produces the h plus ion while base produces the oh minus ion and here when the acid is reacted with base we will get the salt and water so we can define that salt is any ionic compound that has formed from the reaction of acid and base let's see the disadvantages of that arrhenius theory as i already told you that acid is a substance which gives the h plus ion in aqueous medium so aqueous medium means water so this is the limitation so if we choose the any other solvent than water like ammonia sulfur dioxide alcohol etc our as arrhenius theory fails so next point is again that the limitation or the disadvantages of that arrhenius theory is it again fails to explain the acidic nature of carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and so3 etc why it fails because here in co2 that is a carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide there is a no any h plus ions similarly as we can say it also fails to explain the basic nature of ammonia calcium oxide and sodium carbonate see the next theory that is the bronsted lorry theory so according to that bronsted and lorry the acid and base are the electron pair donor and electron pair acceptor now in this theory one word is also the most important that is a conjugate acid base pair so this word conjugate acid base pair so see i on the screen one reaction is there on reactant side i have shown the hno3 and water molecule and on the product side there is a hto plus and nitronium ion like that are there so as on the right hand side one is acid and one is base and in the product side there will be the conjugate acid and bases will be there so let's see here what is the conjugate acid base pair means this side it is a nothing but simply the spaces which are the differ by the proton 
are called the acid base conjugate pair so these two are the differ from the reactant side by proton see here in the reactant side hno3 is always we are we are the obviously the familiar with that the hno3 is the acid so it will be the bronze state acid and water will be the bronze state base so let's see that hno3 will be differ by proton with this that is a no3 minus so no3 minus will be here conjugate base and hydronium ion that is the h3o plus it is a differ by water simply by the proton so that's why it acts as a conjugate acid see now in front of that our slide there is a one example that example is the acetic acid this one when it react with or the treated with that the water we will get product side this one that is a acetate ion and hydronium ion so here this proton is donated that's why it will acts as a acetic acid is acts as a bronze state acid because it is a proton donor while the water molecule this accept the proton that's why it acts as a bronze state lorry base and this side product sides are nothing but the conjugate acid base pair see this is the summary of that bronze state lorry theory so acid must be the proton donor so i wrote here the acid and this is the proton so when it will donates it will acts as a acid and base is the proton acceptor means this proton will be the accepted by that base so it will acts as a bronze state lorry base and after that we are getting the conjugate base and conjugate acid these are the differ by protons these are the some examples of the bronze state lorry acid base same is there first example is hcl when it is a treated with the ammonia hcl will lose the proton that's why this will be the conjugate base these two species are differ by proton and this ammonia it will simply accept the proton that's why here it will be the base and here it acts as a acid similarly we can explain all these advantages of lorry bronze state theory so as the arrhenius theory was the fulfilled that when for only the aqueous solution but this bronze state and lorry theory it will explain for all the solvents means if the solvent will be the non aqueous still it will be the workable now again that the co2 so2 etc the acidic nature and ammonia and calcium oxide these are the basic in nature these are the explained very well by bronze state lorry theories again the some disadvantages we will see this theory is not applicable for aprotic solvent such as benzene and dioxane now next point is there that is a lewis concept of acid and base so listen here very important in the lewis concept is formation of coordinate covalent bond so here one bond is formed and that bond is nothing but the coordinate covalent bond so two reactants are required so see that reaction ammonia in ammonia nitrogen has the lone pair and second species is that the boron trifluoride in that boron is the central metal atom which has the incomplete octet so when the lone pair of that nitrogen it will gives to the boron it will accepts the lone pair that's why 
this bf3 is known as the lewis acid so we can define that lewis acid is the species which accepts the electron pair and ammonia is the species which gives the electron pair so ammonia is here acts as a lewis base see this is the pictorial diagram of that lewis theory here ammonia i have shown on the ammonia again the same on nitrogen has that the lone pair it will gives the lone pair to the boron and boron is the electron pair acceptor because it is the incomplete in its octet so we will say that here is the formation of coordinate covalent bond is takes place so important is coordination covalent bond so we will see that the advantages of lewis theory lewis theory is more flexible as it can accommodate both the non aqueous as well as hydrogen ion concept and then we will see the limitation of that lewis theory is only that as we are knowing that for the lewis theory important is the coordinate covalent bond formation but sulfuric acid and hcl doesn't form the coordinate covalent bond so this is the limitation of lewis theories so this is the again the pictorial diagram oval shape or in s theory oval shape means what some small oval shapes then medium and then larger one so from that diagram we can conclude that lewis theory is better than the bronsted and arrhenius so this is the summary thank you